But then we can take it a step further. All right, because it's not only whistles and cards, it's not only what we say, but it's our body language as well. It's amazing how much information you gather from somebody in a conversation just by looking at the way they're holding themselves, what they're doing with their hands, the expression on their face, the posture that they have. All right, there are times to be happy. And having that smile on your face conveys an, a message to the players. Not only that you enjoy yourself and enjoy your job, but you're engaged in the game and you're out there with the players enjoying the match. <coughs> Up top, Katie. All right, we see explosiveness from her. We see in Felicia concentration. This sends a message to the players and coaches as well too. When they see you engaged in the game, when they see you giving your best effort out on the field, whether it's on the line or on the pitch, that translates to effectiveness. They'll give more credibility to your decisions when you're this engaged in a match. Sometimes we need to be firm. Sometimes we need to be strong in what we say and how we talk with the players in those big decisions in the game. And then sometimes you just don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Apparently this is a common expression for me. <laughs> but my message that I send here is, well, what do you want me to do? This was a simple call. All right, kind of looks weird when I see the picture, but that's actually what I'm <laughs> trying to convey. But we need to think about our body language. We need to think about what message we're sending to the, the, the environment, sending to the players, the coaches, the fans, in how we're standing and what we're doing with our expressions on our face. 